Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part two of the Lord of the Rings War in the North on the PlayStation 3. I wish it was on the Xbox back and pat, but it's <laughs> I waited and waited and waited. It never happened, people. Maybe we'll get it on the the Xbox Series X. Anyway, let's crack on. We are exactly where we're at the end of part one. Number of times fallen in battle, one, one, one. Farin, come on now, you're slacking, mate. Only found two of five secrets. What? And do you know what? It just dawned on me that I didn't search that area that the eagle was in. We can't go back now. <laughs> just let me come back out of it. Never ye mind. Pretty sure you must be able to go back into areas. But I could be wrong. We've reached the top of the wall. Now to find and destroy the war machines. And quickly, Bellarom is in danger. Mind the edge. It's a long way down. Come on now, aim straight. It is a long way down, Farron, but we can't actually fall off, so we're all right. Orcs! Goddamn horn blowers! Oh, hello! <laughs> there is one of the machines over there. You best leave. Now you're your life. Jesus Christ, this guy. You face a ranger now! Who's this guy? It's a bit harsh, I can't get this uh This guy's actually stuck behind me. <laughs> Thank you. Nice work. Look out below. <laughs> There's one more machine that still needs to go. Over the bridge. Rickety bridge. There is one of the machines over there. God's sake, where's my backup? What the hell is everybody? I must have been. Thank you. Where have you been? Oh, hang on, it's got back up again. The war machines have been destroyed. Oh, nice boots. Our path is now clear.
Well, I'd like to put my shiny boots on first, if that's all right with everybody. It's a bit odd, it doesn't actually show you what they look like before you equip them, like most, most games would. Not a big problem, but... <laughs> they sort of changed and then they went to the same. Well, they're not quite the same, are they? No, they're not. They're different, in fact. Right, we've got everything. Looks like, doesn't it? Oh, nice! Our oh, mages, uh, our oh, mages put a uh, hood on. Must have got from somewhere. I kind of like the fact they sort of sort themselves out. Got the wires and the way. Bloody hellfire! How many is there? Using bloody hell for fun here. Ah, I see. I've just re I've just tweaked that little yellow marker on the heads when they're ready for the finisher. Easy. Do that now. I can't do that yet. Oh, hello. Crossbow. And a pipe. God damn it, every time. Yeah, that's for the champion. There you go, Farron. All yours, my friend. I think he just equipped it as well. All right, Sonny's back. Oh, there's another chest. Oh, no, it's not. It's a couple of boxes. Never mind. I can zoom with R three as well. Interesting. The Outer Wards. It's a whole new area. The wall is clear. Well done. I am free to fly unhindered. But there are others fighting in the city. They may need our help. Could it be Elrond's sons? 
I cannot say, but they move with stealth, and they leave a trail of slain enemies in their wake. That sounds like Aladan and Elro here on both accounts. They are likely heading for the Citadel, just as we are. Then let's push on. Maybe we'll meet up with them. I will shadow your movements from above. In open ground, I can strike against our foes. Call on me when the need is great. Yeah, I think we can call him down on things. I don't know if it's every area, but you get so many times you can call him down. Take out targets for you. It's all rather cool. can give us a hand quickly we must follow after Eladan and Elro here they may need our aid uh... Elves to help. We must find a way past this gate. Heads off, thank you. Us here. Yeah, she's saying uh, Bellerim could help us here, but I need to remember how to call him down. Ah, there we go. X. Thank you, Bellaram. Good man, Bellaram. Should have searched the area first, though, to be fair. Chest, big shiny chest. New chest piece and a bow. What have we got here then? Oh, hang on a minute. I'm gonna have to watch here because it look. Yeah, I'm just sort of remembering that durability is an issue in this game. Things become weakened, people. So what we've got on has got plus one stamina and plus twenty power. This has got plus three damage. Hmm. 
I think what we had on was better, really. Uh, highly confused. That's 37. That's 47. Now what we've got on is better. I was going to say, it looked a bit shit as well, to be fair. That's not as good either. Oh well, never mind. We've been quite good with the drops, to be fair, so far. Okay, I think we've got everything. Onward. What's that for the hellfire? Something's growling. Oh, hello. Over there, a mounted crossbow. We should call Bellarone to help. is getting bloody hammered back there. Something enemy beware! Nice one. The wrong button. It's <laughs> called the eagle down for no good reason. Level four reach. I think that yeah, something's broken, isn't it? Enemy on the high ground. Well, we can level up actually mid fight. <laughs> it's quite handy. Uh, yeah, I think my sword might be broken or something is maybe why I'm taking so long to take things down. Um, this is why I should have gone back to Bree and got them fixed. Reduces cooldown of active skills while blocking press. Grant bonus of armor based on current dexterity. Oh. 
Oh yeah. R2 and square for wide arcing attack that strikes multiple enemies. Oh. Hmm. I feel like I need. I see, yeah, you need to fill those up before you can get the next one. Is it? Yeah. So we can get that next time. Looks like it. Hang about, because uh, I've got a... yeah, my sword's broke. What? Why can't I change oh, right. Why can't I change it? Alright, there we go. Go back to double blade for now, is it? Oh no, hang on a minute, that's... that one-handed sword's actually better. 21 to 33. Oh. Well, yeah, you've only because it's damaged, probably. Right, we're going to have to get cracking with repairing stuff, people. The hell? take them out, did he? It's a bit annoying with the distance enemies that you can't pick up the gold or anything. Come on team, take him out. Doesn't you don't have to be a hundred percent precise with the aiming on these bows and stuff. A little bit like the looters do, you just have to be in the right vicinity of them and it'll hit. Health potion. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, if it was just for the coins, it wouldn't be worth doing the boxes, but you get health potions and bits and bobs out of them, so. There's another one. Very handy in a tight spot, the old health potion. I feel like going back to the double-handed sword for uh, a little bit. I do like that move though where... Oh god, I've just remembered a level here. <laughs> it's one of those levels where you need two people on cannons and of course the AI is doing one of them. And you've got to you've got to finish it before the door breaks down or something like that. You've got to protect it long enough. All right, something coming. I'm assuming we can't go back. Yeah, no, we can't. Never mind. Let's go on. Oh god. Troll.
They've got a cave troll. Like a bloody pincushion, this guy. Oh, easy. Holy shit. That's a bit harsh. There's no, I don't think there's a roll or anything, is there? You can't. <laughs> Come on, you big... Oh, I've got no ammo. <laughs> Gonna have to get up close now. Hey! I think I just got some sort of longsword there, which would be ni nice to have a look at. Scout's longsword. Well, is it much better than what I've got? On? The base, the base, the, like the lowest hit rate you'll get is 24, as opposed to 21, 21.33. So it's down by one. It's, meh, it might be worth it, but then once that's mended. That looks better, doesn't it? North Kingdom chest guard. Nice. Who's that for, then? Ah. That's for Andriel. Hood's better. Looks the same, though. Never mind. Let's have a quick nosy around the cave, make sure we've not missed anything. Oh, come on now. Thank you. Go on, Faramir. It's not Faramir, is it? What's his name? Someone's coming. <laughs> Farad. Investing a troll in combat, that is no small feat, friends. It would appear that we are on the same side. Perhaps we could be of assistance to each other. Allow us to offer a hand. Whee! Number of limbs severed, 14. Go on, Steve. Most damage done in a standard attack. I'm top, thank you. Probably be best going back to the two-handed sword because I'm. I mean, I like the move for taking the reds off with the shield, but there's probably a similar one for the two-handed sword, and I'm not using block at all, hardly most of the time. Oh, dual handed. Andriel, is that you? Well met, my friends. We were told we might find you here. I am truly glad to see you. 
Allow me to introduce my companions, Eridan of the Dunedain and Farin of Erebor. I present to you Eladan and Elrohir, the sons of Elrond Hathalvin. It is a pleasure to make the acquaintance of such skilled and courageous warriors. Was it the three of you then who freed the Great Eagle? It was, yeah. Yes, Belaram is his name. That was well done. But what brings you to Fornost? I am here by Aragorn's command. Farron and Andrael have volunteered to aid me. But why would Aragorn send you to Fornost? Has he learned of the goblin force gathered here? This is far more than a simple gathering of goblins. We were with the rangers at San Ford when we were attacked by black riders out of Mordor. That is grim news. But it does not explain why Aragorn would send you here. Um, an ally of the Black Riders is here. He wants this force kept busy. The Black Riders are in league with a man called Agendauer. It is he who commands this force. I begin to understand. Aragorn wishes you to distract Agendauer. Yes, that is our mission. But now that we have joined forces, we can do more than distract him. Let us cut the head from this Serpent of Sauron. Agreed. But first, we must find him. He is certain to be in the Citadel at the heart of the city. We must attempt to make our way there. No easy task amid these crumbling ruins, and a host of orcs and goblins will seek to bar our way. If we are separated, press on toward the Citadel. There we will regroup for our final attack. Very well. Let us begin. Follow us! <laughs> Follow us into battle! Wow, there's an eye-opener. No mistake, there's a bit of a view in it. Woohoo! Elf friend! Go on, Bellaram, have it. I've only got one call of Bellaram left. Psych. He weren't for going down, was he? of streets and pathways. We will search this way while you three try another route. We will meet at the Citadel, if not before. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember this. There, at the far end of this passage, 
message. Another level up. Come on, have it. Whoa, fucking hellfire. Thank you, these guys are gonna Heal up, heal up, heal up. The drop has fallen! Gate him! Up with you. We need your help. Many thanks. Let's get back to it. Fuck's sake. Now for wrath, now for ruin. Nice. Trophy. Whoop, whoop. What? Did he come from? He's a big fella, isn't he? Where did he come from? We've got to level up and we've got a bunch of stuff to pick up down here. Just coin bags, I think. Oh, and a health, thank you. Should have stood in there first, really. I'm going to get that up because it's got a lot to do with recovery on health. Yeah, that's the multiple enemies one, isn't it? Oh, God damn it, why not? Oh, requires two... what? 
All oh, right, that's oh, I see. Okay, so I've only unlocked the middle section then. I'd need to do that in order to get these. Hmm. Can you still use Ranger Strike on two-handed sword then? You must be able to. Okie dokie, let's have a bit of that action then. Go with the two handed sword again so we're gone. It really doesn't seem to be a huge amount of benefit in going with one handed and, sh and shield. I'd be better doing dual wielding or the one handed, uh, the two handed sword. Wait, I see something over there. Oh, here we go. Explosives. What manner of creatures are these? Can they actually be so enamored of the darkness that they would willingly destroy themselves to strike at their enemies? This is troubling! This should prove useful. Uh, bad timing. <laughs> Bellerin got him. Don't want to waste all my arrows on those guys in case we get exploding ones again. actually just put that on for me without me doing anything. No. Plus one will. Whoever will is. Plus ten health. Requires thirteen will. That makes for easier work of chess, doesn't it? There's a 
lever here. Move out of the way. Not say. Should have stayed up here. Oh no. Jesus Christ. The sword's bloody broken as well. Excellent. The gate is open. This is a long level without a uh, ability to go back to Bree doorway. I've now got a broken two-handed sword. I don't think I've got another two-handed sword. Oh, hello. What's this? Shoulders, shoulder, spaulders. Soldiers shoulder spoulders. Say that three times when you're wellied. <laughs> nice. I oh, know it's not my weapon, it's my trousers that are broke. <laughs> Got broken pants, people. What? <laughs> oh, double swords of peach. I'm having that. Agandar's minions. Yes, arrow shaft, isn't it? Oh, fucking Jesus! Arrow. Oh, they're not arrow chuckers, though. Exploders. Bow hammer! Mind you, they're probably saying the same about me. Flipping arrow chucker from Dunedain.
Get me up. No sleeping alone, sleep I'm in your death. God damn bloody bomb chuckers. <laughs> Come on! You ain't nothing. Woo! That was awesome. Now we're on level six. Here, friends. <laughs> Hello there! <laughs> Open the damn gate, would you? There's a good chap. You may pass now. Press on. We will meet you farther along the way. Well, as it happens, I might just take a little snip. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Flaming spears and arrows being thrown at me already. Right. Not really using my powers at the minute too much, but we will be doing. Ooh, get me all round move now, I think. R2 and square for a, a wide arcing attack that strikes multiple enemies. <laughs> Have it. Yeah, I've got two, two big moves now. Excellent. Still got broken pants, but never mind. Maybe we'll find some new pants in this here chest. No, it's not a chest. It's a box. Uh, I think I've got a helmet and stuff out of that. Yeah, it did. It's not as good, though. Oh, and a pair of boots. Hang about. The Lawmaster. I think they were a good pair, actually. They seem to be pur uh, purple colour. Uh, well, purple lettering. Maybe that's uh, unique. There must be a lever that opens this gate. I think you're probably right there, Ar Arandir, or whatever your name is. Well, there's certainly nothing more of interest that I can see. I've not seen a ranger's stash for a while. Oh, there was that one I opened by mistake, then I inspected it. Looking for a giant lever, people. Oh, hello, is that one of those places for going back to Bree? Let's have a look. Well, that's handy. Hang on a minute, let me just show Yeah, you can't repair stuff in Return to Bree. Well, that's quite handy, actually, because it shows us the... Well, let's just show off how we can portal between those areas in the main town again. Some beautiful artwork in these loading screens.
Always raining in Bree. This place is a river. Right, let's see what this guy can do for us. Back again. What can I do for you? I need repairs, good man. Repair items. Uh, can we do repair all? Hmm. Probably wiser to actually sell what you don't want first and then do it. I don't need to do rings. Or necklaces. Alright, I think we're done. I don't know what the others do. I don't know what the, the rest of the team do, though. Ah, uh, hang on. You can, alright, oh you can hit square, but it's the same thing. I thought maybe that did all of them, but it doesn't. Doesn't seem to be a repair all. So if we go to the guy in the perp, uh, sell him some of these weapons that we don't want. Welcome. I think more folks are starting to believe the dangers I warned of are real. But it's no wonder, really. What with the Black Riders appearing on our streets and attempted murder right here in the inn. Black Riders entered Bree? Yes, but Barleyman can probably tell you more than I. <laughs> Your price is awful. Uh, hmm. Might keep a spare bow actually in case we're a spare of each weapon just in case we're caught short, but I think I've only got one Tyrannid sword. Yeah. Got a little sparkly bit over there in the corner again. Bree is a pleasant enough place, but the people here mistrust my kind. It's the same thing as before. Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Prancing Pony. What can I do for you? Is Strider no longer in town? He left town with a party of Shire Hobbits that came in just after you left. Seemed like an odd pairing, if you don't mind my saying so. They were strange folk, these Hobbits. Strange? In what way? Well, for one, they seem to be in some sort of trouble. Even before they showed up, we had this, this black-cloaked rider come round asking after hobbits from the Shire. He put a chill into my veins, that one. He did. A black rider? What became of him? I can't say for certain, but more of them turned up after the first. They came into the town the same night as the hobbits. It was fortunate your friend Strider kept them hidden that night, not long after. Five of them broke down the gates, 
and rode through the town, howling like a storm. Last anyone saw, they were traveling east. Thank you, and goodbye. Well, I like how like every time you come back, things seem to have progressed story-wise behind the scenes, which keeps things flowing quite nicely. Obviously, the, the standard Lord of the Rings story is progressing as we're cracking on with our bits. I wonder if he's got anything new to say. I have a lot of work ahead of me. If I'm going to convince Idona's father, I'll make a good match for his daughter. I've got plans, though. I'll find a way. I hope you will both be happy. Good luck and goodbye, Rowling. No, he's just going to stand there forever. What kind of a husband is he, really? Well, Welcome. What can I do for you? Right, let's get rid of the drags that we don't need. I don't know why I just did that when I just said <laughs> I'm going to keep one of each thing in case I run out anyway. Never mind. I don't think there's a buyback. What's that there? Great feather, all oh, right. Quite expensive though, isn't it? 404 for a pair of kecks. Durability any good on them? Yeah, well, I think the ones I'm wearing are 50, which is probably why they ran out so quick. Two-handed sword that's better than the one we've got. A watchkeeper's great sword. 43 to 69. Or 16. I can't remember what else you need money for in the game. Probably regret spending it, but uh, Watchkeeper's Great Sword. Same thing. Why not? Just treat ourselves, people, eh? Watchkeeper's gauntlets. I'm seeing a pattern emerging. Yeah, so I think I'll do like it's getting, it's getting very expensive. Extra three armor. Ooh, that's a big jump in damage, isn't it? 23 to 37 against 43 to 69. Bloody hell fire. It's a beast, isn't it? 
Yeah, you sold me a sword and it's not even got full durability on it. Shabby that. What kind of hobbit sells me that sort of gear? Nice. Now before we go, we'll get blacksmith to sort it out. Back again. I can just hit square instead of going through this motion every time. Durability on that sword is like 120 as opposed to that one, which was 50. Lasts a lot longer. All right. Well, as it happens, people, we have gone over the hour mark. So I think that's an ideal to wrap things up in the pouring rain in Brie. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in the Lord of the Rings War in the North. And I shall see you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.